Today I'm going to be reviewing my first pair of new rock boots and telling you if I think it's worth it. These are the leather version of the shoe and it very, feels very durable and I've had these for two years now and worn them very very frequently. These are my most frequently worn shoe and I love them to bits so <laughs> that's a good start. On the inside there's a zip which allows you to get in and out of the shoe very, very easily. I've never had any issues with the zip. At the front, there is some lacing and also on the side, there is some buckles. When I first got them, I played around with the buckles a little bit to make them as comfortable for my leg shape and feet shape as possible. So there is a bit of fiddling at the start, but after that, you don't have to touch them ever. You pretty much just use the zip to get in and out of it and the laces, I guess they're just there for aesthetic but again if you tighten them it's probably going to have minimal because the leather around the outside is so stiff. Overall it's a very very durable boot and I haven't had any issues with them in terms of durability. The boot features these black buckles as well as these black metal logo bits at the top. Now very sadly this one in this right boot has actually come out and I don't trust it to stay in anymore so instead I leave it alone and I usually will go out with this knot in the boot. This did actually happen quite early on when this metal logo came off so that is disappointing but also it's just for aesthetic so it doesn't really mean that much but it is a bit disappointing considering these are quite expensive. I've never had any issues with the sole. Before I got these new rock boots, I would always walk around in these demonia boots. Uh, the sole completely has come off of the shoe. Something that I do prefer over these shoes is that they're really, really flimsy and they're really flexible. And they were a very comfortable boot to walk around in. So when I was at festivals, I felt like I could flex my ankles a little bit Whereas in these boots, they're very, very stiff. I can barely move this leg a bit. So you don't have much wiggle room. You basically have to take off the boot and then you can move your foot around. Overall, in terms of comfortability, I love these boots. They're quite hard, as I mentioned, but I often will go to gigs and would have no problem going to festivals in these boots. These would be my boot of choice now for festivals. Underneath in the sole, there's very wide gaps and there's actually a lot of stones and rocks that get stuck in them. So occasionally, this is just a bit annoying, I'll walk and I'll hear the rocks hit the ground or scrape, so I have to pluck them out every so often. So that is kind of annoying, but again, just something very, very minor. The grip is very, very strong and I haven't had issues with it. In terms of sizing, these boots are true to size. I'm a European size 39 and these boots fit me perfectly. Because you can adjust the buckles, I have adjusted them just a tiny bit looser which allows me to wear very thick socks which gives me some more comfort for longer days when I'm wearing these boots. Overall, I'm very very happy with my new rocks. Absolutely they are worth it. These new rocks cost £300 and I got them 50 pounds off for 250 pounds and this was in their new rock store in London. It's still very expensive even with the discount but overall I would 100% say that these boots are worth it. Not only do they look super super cool but I'm very very confident and comfortable walking around in these all day long and on holidays. I never got any blisters when I started wearing them. I really can't complain. I like that this pair is quite a basic pair that will go with pretty much anything. If you go onto Facebook Marketplace or eBay, occasionally you'll find some New York boots in your size that are a lot cheaper. I'd recommend that if you can't afford to pay them at full price. So I hope that was helpful and now I'll attach some clips of what they look like on. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below or message me on Instagram at Coco in the Moonlight.